This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. It's 2024 uh, Blue and Gray Oldsmobile, uh, Blue and Gray Region Oldsmobile Club. Uh, their uh, Pontiac Buick Oldsmobile Cadillac Club, uh, show over here at EMMR. You know me, I love these GPs. This is 67. Look at the way how they carry through the hidden headlight uh, into the turn signals. And that's a la GTO. Remember the tail lights in the 60 forward start. But look at again the flanks. It had the jowls. But just came off so nice. On a big car, full size car, it really comes off as quite a sporty ride. Of course, it has to have the buckets. But what a nice place to live. And I'm glad it's not in um, black, which was very, very common. This is really cool. Grand Prix went on to uh, define the personal luxury car with their later uh, innovations, which was good. They came in with the wraparound dash in 69 and the more closed coupe uh, look. And everyone had to jump on the bandwagon. This was cool. This was along the lines of the Riviera and such. Really nice. Really nice. I like the two-tone on it. And I wish it would come back with two-tones. Uh, Nissan has it on a couple of their cars. Uh, but still, well, toasters. Still not that great. Again, look at the slots. The slotted taillights. That brings you a family resemblance. What's under the hood, by the way? 400. Very nice. Thank you. This is a gorgeous car. Just gorgeous. And you know that it's a Pontiac when you look at it. Off to the formulas. The formula really saved the line. Firebird. GM was going to drop um, Firebird, but the Trans Ams were selling so well. This is a 78 with a little bit extra uh, Kong performance under the hood Willwood braking system really a nice street ride if you want to go by definition but oh, it is yeah this is nicely done nicely done 30 years ago today May 18 1994 my aunt finally uh, consented to sell me a firebird and his grandfather bought their uh, gem uh, for my Aunt Valerie. Wow, I always knew that one day his car would be mine. Gee, look at that. Prom 1993. Now, if that's not the iconic uh, Trans Am, that's great. Past owner Valerie. Oh, yeah. Family history really makes it special. And you know this car is not going out of the family. Into the later years, the Catalina. Is this a cat? Yeah. Interesting the way how they did This is a 78. This was their downsize. Remember they had the Parisian? Because they kind of dropped the uh, full size and they had to get something in quick. L&M uh, from Hanover. was intriguing they downsized the car but the interior space was actually a tad bigger here we go again this is nice with the catalina earlier now you can see the size american cars just kept growing and growing and growing uh to dinosaur uh sizes didn't matter when you were paying 27 cents a gallon i always love the eight lug uh it was well it was amazing that we were able to get away. People still complain because remember, uh, back in 1967, what was the minimum wage? You were probably working for about, I'm gonna guess, $1.60 an hour, somewhere around there. My first job was $1.65 an hour. And I'm old. <laughs> we're gonna end it over here with this Bonnie. This is just gorgeous. And what's funny is that one of the uh, folks uh, commented on the 60 Edsel. 
imitating Pontiac. You could really see it there. It, uh, that split grill routine. A lot of uh, Pontiac had it, and I don't know why they went in. This is 59, of course. Look at this interior. This is the Bonnie. I mean, this just oozes. Look at that grab bar over there, all the chrome. This is just so cool. So cool indeed. And what I love, zoom. Zoom. How they got that Starfire type. Oh, sorry, that's a Bonnie. Ha ha ha. Tail fins. That is neat. By Blash. East Windsor Hill. Wherever that may be. Really cool. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2024 Buick Pontiac Oldsmobile Cadillac, and I messed them up, I know, uh, show put on by the uh, blue and gray region of the Oldsmobile Club. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendars, NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, and while you're there, post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows.